Assalamu alaikum. Hi, this is Raja. Here I would like to demonstrate how to install the Zynings ISE software using the installation folder. Um, for Windows 8 and Windows 10 users, please pay special attention because at the end of this video, you have to follow certain procedures in order to overcome the compatibility issue. Okay, let's begin. Open this folder and and launch the setup file. Yes. Just click next. Accept these uh, conditions and also this one. Click next. Next. And just use the default setting. Just click next. Um, and next again. Next. And install. Okay, here you have to wait for several minutes. Uh, I will skip this part, so uh, you should pause this video and res resume it after you finish this stage. Okay, you will also be asked to install the Visual C++, so just uh, click this next button and install it. Then click finish and continue with the uh, Installation of Xilinx. Uh, again. Next. Install. And click Finish. And you will get this uh, Windows, just click Next, Agree, and Install, Finish. Just click OK. Okay, this one is the uh, driver software. I think you can just install it, no problem. And another one is the device software, install it. You will also be asked whether you want to communicate uh, this Xilinx software with your MATLAB. If you don't have uh, um, nothing to do with MATLAB, you can just ignore this uh, step. Just click OK. And finally, we have Finish. OK. In this 
you will be asked to load your license so click in on this tab manage license and then click load license okay go to the uh, installation folder sorry um, where is the installation folder It is in the desktop uh, Xilinx. <clears throat> Find this folder ISE one four seven license and choose this file. Click open, and you will get this message, this dialog box. The license installation was successful. Click OK, and basically you can use your Xilinx software. Okay, now let's try to launch the Xilinx ISE software. Okay. Maybe you can try to create a new project. Mm. Test. One. Next. change the directory okay apparently we are facing a problem okay as I mentioned before this is due to the compatibility issue with Windows 8 or Windows 10 so now we have to follow a, a special uh, procedures to overcome this problem Close this. Okay. Please pay special attention to these following steps. First of all, open the directory in which Xilinx has been installed because we are use uh, drive C and click on Xilinx. It's supposed to be this one instead of this one. Xilinx 14.7 ISE DS ISE and open this folder LIB lib and open this NT64 folder okay scroll down and try to find the this file namely the um, lib portability dot dll okay this one lib portability dot dll okay rename this file to dot o r i g okay copy and then copy this file l i b portability n o h h dot d l l copy this one and paste it here So we'll, we will get this file lib portability and sh dash copy and rename this file as lib portability 
Okay. Copy this file again. LIB portability NOS H. But this time go to um, Xilinx 14.7 ISEDS. I repeat Xilinx 14.7 ISEDS. Then this folder common. LIB NT64 and paste it here. Okay, in this folder, Xilinx 14.7 ISCDS, common LIB NT64, find this file, LIB portability. Dot DLL, okay. And rename this file to LIB portability dot DLL dot ORIG. And finally, re Find this file LRB portability and sh dot dll and rename it to LRB portability. Okay, that's it. Now let's try again the Xilinx ISE software. Okay, this time hopefully we will no longer face that uh, crash problem. Okay, new project. Okay, um, new project. Next, oh, sorry, change the directory to document. Next, or maybe. Um, this PC uh, document, or maybe we can create a new folder and okay, name it as anything. Let's say Xilinx uh, project. Okay, next. And Spartan 3 is at the bot, for example. Add a new source. Sorry, uh, create a new source. And uh, let's choose this very long module. Uh, lesson one, for example. Next, next, finish. So everything seems okay. Uh, hopefully, you will also be able to successfully install this Xilinx ISE software. Um, that's all for now, so bye.